Hey guys, welcome to my Chunk Morgify installation tutorial today. I'm going to show you how to install this onto your Windows PC with Nvidia's graphics card. So if you don't have both of them, this video cannot help you. Yeah, let's get started. Um, I'm going to be using my fork because I slightly modified the documentation to make it easier to install. But all the credits go back to the original, which is here. But yeah. Um, I'll be linking this installation one down in the description. And yeah, let's get started. So first we will need Anaconda 3. So if you don't have Anaconda 3, you can press here and download it here. And after you finish downloading it, you will want to open up your Anaconda prompt. It should look like this. And then you want to create a Conda environment. So just copy the first line, press enter. Then Conda activate. Yeah. So now there are two options. So if you're non 30 series CPU, you have to use option one. Uh, if you're NVIDIA 30 series CPU, you have to go to option two. So be careful. There are two different options depending on your hardware. So mine is 30 series. So I'm going to have to go to this line and copy here. And in the meantime, um, we can go here after that, download this. Um, Qt toolkit. So you want I already chose the platform and stuff, so you're just gonna press download and then do everything on default settings, you'll be fine. And after you install that, um you have to go to um edit the system environment variables. Here. And you go to environment variables, you go to path, so it's within the system variable section here. Open this up, and then you have to make sure that um since I'm using CUDA 11.11 .11 here, you can see the version. So then move up any 11.1 .1 CUDA to the very top. So it will be these two at the very top. But if you're on option one, it'll be the other story. So it'll be 10.2. I, I, it says 10.0 here, but it will be 10.2 and you got to move it to the very top. And after that, it's done. You press OK. 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 And all right, we done. So after that, um, you have to close your Anaconda, uh, Anaconda prompt and reopen it. That is because um, it will refresh the whole system environment uh, settings. So if you go back here and you type in, you can just do a quick shot MVCC version, it should see 11.1. .1, and if you're on option one, it should say 10.2 um, here. So yeah, that's all good. So we just gonna activate our environment once again. There you go, reactivate it. Now we have to choose a spot for you to install all the codes in. So mine would be in my installation, I mean, tutorial folder. So let me create a new folder called chunk more grify. There you go. And then I'm just gonna do the very basic download zip so everyone can understand it easier. Drag it to the folder and we're gonna extract here. here. All right, um, you can delete the zip. I'm just gonna rename it. So you'll see all the codes are in here. So now you're just gonna get to this folder. So you just copy the whole file path, paste it onto your Anaconda prompt and type in CD first. Oh shit. CD, paste. And then if you're on a different disk, you have to switch your disk. There you go. It should say this and it should point to this folder. Yeah. Um, the next thing you want to do is um, run pip install dash r requirements dot txt. So you just got to do that. Paste here. And yeah, um, in the meantime, if it gives errors related to C++ compiling, you need to um, install building tools, C++ building tools. And I linked another documentation on how to do that here. And yeah, this usually requires uh, you to restart a computer. So after you restart it, you just need to start from here. So you just open your Anaconda prompt, reopen the environment. You don't need to download the files. You just need to do this again. So you just step three step five uh wait step three step here <laughs> you don't need to download again so and to see 
Actually, I'm going to rename the number. Give me a second. Okay, I changed it. So if you run into C++ compiling problems, you just need to do step three and go to step five. So step four is downloading the file. So it should be separate. Yeah, but yeah. Um, after you finish installing all the dependencies and you don't get any C++ errors or like a big chunk of red, you're fine. So you just need to run this now. Python app.py. All right, it'll take some time. So you just gotta wait. So yeah, if you just go to file, image from file, yeah, email mask, and try the projection step. If projection step works, that means the program is successfully working basically. So we're just gonna give it a second. There you go. Ooh, all right. So if this successfully um, work, then I suggest you to go to their um, installation. They, they have a tutorial, not installation tutorial, but they, they have a tutorial here, tutorial video here that teaches you how to edit. And I think it's way better than what I can do. So you should definitely refer to this instead. You just have to scroll down. So yeah, that's it for the installation tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you like what I'm doing, you can support me through my Patreon or just simply subscribe to my main channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.